Welcome to a Wix Studio website video guide. So in today's videos, I'm going to be going through coupons and discounts. So this can be used, this video guide for the Wix editor as well, um, but also at the Wix Studio because the back office section is the same for coupons and discounts. So what you'll need to do is when you log into your Wix back office, it's not going to look like this. This is one of the example stores that I have created as a template which is also sold on my website but we're going to go into the Wix back office and you can see you've got your toolbar here with all of your um, options to choose from what you need to do is go to marketing go to discounts and you can just click discounts and it will open it all up on this side and then we have coupons and automatic discounts so we're going to go through each one of these sections one by one so then we can get a real breakdown of absolutely everything we need to know so with the coupons, um, as you can see, we've got no coupons. So we're going to go ahead and create a new coupon and we click new coupon. Now you can select the type of coupon you want to create the offer for. So you can do an actual price discount, a percentage discount. You can either choose to do a free shipping option, a sale price. So um, it could be a specific sale price on a specific product. Um, and then it will show the now only price, of course, that you want to offer it as. Um, but it will, of course, be a coupon code that is sent out to people. And then buy X, get Y for free. So it's like buy two, get one for free, etc. We're going to do a simple percentage coupon for the time being. Um, so we're going to do this um, as the example that was shown was called summer sale. And then the coupon name will appear here. So this is the coupon code that will need to be used from your customers in order to get the discount that they're looking for. Now, please bear in mind with coupons, coupons are only for selected options across your website. So you can do it on certain um, categories. You can do it on specific products, all products or a specific form. So it's really depending on what exactly it is you're looking to get that discount for with pricing discount of course it's the exact same thing with like minimum orders um but we'll go into doing discounts for everything else afterwards as well so with the discount we are going to do obviously a percentage and we're going to do a 20 percent discount as we've called it summer sale 20. we are going to apply it to all products and then you can choose here um, apply once per order to the lowest item price or we can apply it to each eligible item in the order so what this will do is whatever you yeah whatever is added to the basket um the discount will be applied to each eligible item in the order within the basket so as you can see here's a little hover here so if a customer is using a five dollar discount coupon code to purchase three eligible items they only get five dollars off the lowest priced item so if you're only looking for it to be discounted on one item then um this is what you'll click if you want it to be applied to like the um the basket as a whole then it would be applied to each eligible item in order now when you scroll down you can include this into subscriptions if you have website subscriptions across your site if not you don't need to do anything here and invalid between so you can choose the start date and the end date if you don't have an end date you can click this button here which says don't send an end date um, but we're going to set an end date and we're going to do it for the end of the week and then we can choose the limit uses so we can choose whether there's a total number of uses for this coupon so maybe like the first 10 people that use the coupon will get the offer or we can just limit it to one per customer but you can also do both if you wanted to so we can do limit the coupon to 10 people using the coupon code but it's limited to one per customer um, otherwise you might have returning customers that might try to get more offers um, than what they've already received once you're happy with that you'll click create coupon once you click create coupon, your coupon has been created and you can promote your coupon as well if you wanted to. Now, just say you've got this coupon, you want to create another coupon, you just click the button up here and you can create as many coupons as you would like to do so. Now, if you no longer want a coupon to be active, as you can see, the status here is active. You can click on the little buttons on the right hand side here and you can click to deactivate it. So this way you can activate it whenever you would like to, but of course, make sure that you're setting the dates. And whenever you need to edit a coupon, you can just click on it and then go back into the coupon to edit the information. And of course, you can just delete it if you wanted to. Now, when it comes to automatic discounts, 
Automatic discounts is something that can be um, applied automatically without a coupon code. So we're going to go ahead and show some examples of how that will work. So we're going to click create discount. Now you can do it again, standard discount or buy X and get Y. So we're going to do a standard discount. And then, of course, the discount name, we are going to call it um, summer sale. And we're going to scroll down. So what does this discount apply to? So we can apply it to specific products. Um, so we can apply it maybe to like the lipstick, the lip gloss, and the Lux Lip. So everything basically lip related. Are there any requirements? So is there a minimum quantity of items um, that need to be ordered? Um, is there a minimum sub subtotal order? Um, which again, it is totally up to you. You do have little information buttons here that you can hover over to really sort of find out exactly what it is if you're unsure on certain sections. Um, you can do it on specific categories as well. So this you can do it onto the lip category, um, but we're going to just put it onto all products. Minimum quantity of items, we're going to put it as free. Minimum subtotal order, we're going to do it as 15. So basically, the discount will automatically be applied with um, orders with over three items and over £15 that a discount will be applied. So what does the customer get? What is the discount? So we can do an amount of. So we can do an amount of, we can do a percentage of, or we can do a sale price. We're going to do an amount of, so anytime someone has more than three items in their basket and they're spending over £15, we're going to give them £20 off. So this is a really great way to just give an automatic offer to anyone on your online store and giving a discount to anyone who, of course, shops on your website for that specific reason that you've applied for the discount. You, again, you can set start dates and start times and you can set an end date if you wanted to. Um, we are going to, of course, set an end date and we can set an end time for 6 p.m. And then a storefront display. So you can choose where to show the discount to your customers. So you can display it on the product page, the galleries, the cart and checkout, or only on the cart and checkout. I suggest to put this on the product page and galleries, um, cart and checkout section, just because it will then be apparent to people while they're shopping, adding things to their basket, to see that they will be eligible for a discount with the more items that they add and the more that they spend. So, of course, the... Um, sort of calculations of what I've done of course you would need to change these around in order to get more of a sale and get more people purchasing um, but this would be the best option and make sure to always click save and again very similar to how the coupons work it will show here but you have an on and off switch you can turn this off or you can turn this on whenever you want to have the offer not automatically automatically added to the store again you can just click on it to edit or you can click on the little buttons on the right hand side here to um, amend things that need to be amended. Unfortunately, with coupons and automatic discounts, these can't be applied to as of yet to services. So with services, you will just need to adjust the pricing manually. But with if you do have an online store and you're looking to do an offer, you can just do it this way. Um, you can also do coupons as well for a percentage discount in multiple ways for products but again like I said when it comes to services if you have a Wix website and you have a Wix booking system you can't apply a coupon code or a discount for services it can only be done for the online store section but hopefully this will be a feature that Wix will be bringing out soon so that coupons and automatic discounts can be done for services across their booking system as well. I hope this video has helped you with what you've been looking for. Please do leave a comment if you have any questions and I will aim to get back to all com comments as soon as I can. Please like, share and subscribe and I look forward to um, you joining me on the next video.